Hello, I'm Libby Dowling, Clinical Advisor at Diabetes UK. This video will show you how to test your blood glucose levels. Testing your blood glucose levels can give you a picture of how your diabetes is being managed on a day-to-day -day basis. It can be particularly useful at times of illness or if you're doing some physical activity. Not everybody with diabetes will test their blood glucose levels. That's a decision that will be made on an individual basis in conjunction with your healthcare team. Some people don't feel the need to test because they say they know when they're high or they're low. That unfortunately isn't always accurate and often what's going on in your body is quite different from how you feel. Home blood glucose testing provides a picture of what your blood glucose is doing at the time of the test. It involves pricking the side of your finger, avoiding the pad, and applying a drop of blood to a testing strip which is then read automatically by a meter. Your healthcare team will help you decide what type of meter is best for you and how often you should be testing. It's really important that you record your blood glucose tests. You might like to do that in a diary or by using the Diabetes UK tracker app. Your blood testing kit should consist of a blood glucose testing meter. That has a display to display the blood test and buttons to move through the various functions of the meter. There will also be a testing strip which fits in to the slot at the end of the meter. Your finger pricker has a removable end cap and a release button. The lancet is fitted separately. And the end cap is placed back on. Lancet should be disposed of safely into your sharps bin. There are several steps you need to take in order to test your blood glucose levels. Wash hands with soap and warm water. Rinse and dry. Remove the test strip from its pack. With the meter off, Insert the test strip according to the instructions. This usually turns the meter on. Remove the end cap from the lancing device. Insert a new lancet into the lancet holder. Twist off the protective cap and replace the end cap. Set the lancing device. Choose which finger you're going to prick. The sides of the end segment of the finger are best. Don't prick the pad or too close to the nail. Rotate your fingers. Don't always use the same one. And avoid the thumb and forefinger. Place the finger pricker against your finger. You can also use alternative sites. Your healthcare team can advise whether this is appropriate for you. After the puncture, hold the tip of the test strip in the drop of blood until the meter tells you the test strip is filled, usually by bleeping. Remove the test strip from the blood. Wipe the puncture site with a clean dry tissue and use the tissue to hold pressure on the puncture site until the bleeding stops. Remove the end cap from the lancing device and remove the used lancet and dispose of safely, such as putting it into a sharps bin. Lancets should only be used once. Once the blood glucose reading on the meter is complete, use the tissue to grasp the test strip and pull it out of the meter. This usually turns the meter off. Dispose of the test strip safely, such as in a sharp spin. Record the result. Wash your hands before testing. Use a different finger each time you test. Prick the side of your finger. Avoid the thumb and forefinger. For more information on how to manage your diabetes, go to www.diabetes.org.uk.